Hey designers, let's quickly create this poster and then animate it in After Effects. Let's dive in. So, I've downloaded this video from Pixels and taken screenshots of several moments, like when he's looking at the bite and then actually biting it. I've captured three screenshots from the video. Here are the pictures. Let's open them in Photoshop. Select all of them and open in Photoshop. Now, we need to make a selection of only the subject, excluding the background. To do this, go to Select, Subject, and the subject will be selected. Then, using the Selection tool, right-click and select Layer via Cut. We don't need the background layer anymore, so let's delete it. Now, we have only the subject without the background. Alright, let's move to the second screenshot and repeat the process. Go to Select, Subject. Then right-click and choose, Layer via Cut. Now, we want all the subjects with their backgrounds removed to be on the same canvas for further work. To do this, we'll duplicate this subject layer onto the first document we created. Right-click, select Duplicate Layer, choose the first JPEG document, and press OK. Now, if you open the first JPEG document, you'll see both subjects there. Close the second JPEG and proceed to the third screenshot. Repeat the process. Select the subject, right-click, and choose Layer via Cut. If there's an issue where unwanted parts are also selected, use the Direct Selection tool while holding down the Alt key to deselect them. Once the subject is perfectly selected, right-click and select Layer via Cut. Then, duplicate this layer as well onto the main document. Now, close all three JPEG files, and we have all the main images ready on one canvas. Alright. Let's change the canvas size to 1080 by 1080 to create a square. Go to Image, then Canvas Size, and adjust it to 1080x1080. 1080. Now, select all the layers, press Ctrl-T to enable transform controls, and scale them down accordingly. Additionally, we want to flip them horizontally, so right-click and choose Flip Horizontal. Great! Now, let's arrange the layers in the correct order. The picture where he's just looking at the bite should be first, followed by the one where he's moving the bite closer to his mouth, and finally, the one where he's actually biting. Let's place them accordingly. Let's rotate and adjust the scales of the images to make them look better. This step is up to your discretion, so let's quickly position, rotate, and scale them accordingly. Once their positions are set, let's add a background. Start by creating a new layer and placing it below all the other layers. Hide all the other layers. This will be our background layer. Select a color for the foreground, then press Alt and Backspace to fill the canvas with the chosen foreground color. Alright, let's adjust the opacity of the second and third layers. The second layer will have higher opacity than the third layer, which will be the most transparent. Then, the first layer will be fully visible. Next, let's add a clouds image. Go to File, Place Embedded and select the transparent PNG of clouds. Adjust its position and set its blending mode to light, 
for a good effect. Now, let's address the area where the cloud looks like a line by softening it to blend with the background. Use the eraser tool with reduced opacity and ensure it's set to a soft brush. Gently erase the line to blend it smoothly. Move the cloud layer below all the images and above the background layer. Perfect. Now, make any necessary adjustments. After adjusting the cloud layer, let's add text. Use the text tool to input the text provided. Adjusting its paragraph is needed. Set the text color to white by selecting all and choosing white. Then, decrease the paragraph spacing by selecting all text, accessing the character panel, and adjusting the spacing accordingly. Once done, apply a drop shadow by right-clicking on the text layer, navigating to blending options, and selecting drop shadow. Adjust the distance, spread, and size, and choose a slightly darker shade using the color picker. Next, add an inner shadow, adjusting the opacity and other settings if necessary. Once satisfied, press OK. All right. Let's group all the main images by selecting them and clicking on the group icon. Then, press Ctrl plus T to enable transform controls and center them. Our poster is now complete in Photoshop. Let's add some animation in After Effects. Open After Effects, right-click, and import the PSD file we created earlier. Make sure to import it with composition retained layer size, Double click to open the composition. Now, let's animate the group. Double click to open it. We want to animate the opacity of the second and third layers. Select them, press T for opacity, and click the stopwatch icon next to opacity. Move 20 frames forward using Ctrl plus Shift plus right arrow key twice. Add a blank keyframe. Then move back to the first frame and set opacity to zero. Let's return to the main composition. Select the cloud layer, press S for scale, and scale it up. Then press P for position and move it to the left side. Click the stopwatch next to position, move forward a few frames, and then move the cloud to the right side to create the illusion of movement. If the clouds are moving too fast, select the cloud layer, press U to reveal the keyframes, and move the second keyframe to the 8 second mark. Trim the timeline as needed. Now, preview the animation. Great, your animation is complete. If you found this tutorial helpful, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Ace Designs.